Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be demonstrating how to assemble the trading card dispenser. The dispenser consists of three main parts. The card holder, the card plate and the top lid. Here shown with the motor and the wheel. The card plate and the card lid have to be printed face down. This helps with the surface finish. The whole assembly needs to be deburred with all the sharp edges taken out. Special attention needs to be taken to the slots to feed the cards in and on the main outlet slot. This is so that the cards run smoothly when ejected. Next thing to do is to actually fit the springs for helping with assembling. Dab a super glue inside the socket, drop the spring in, and it helps it hold it in place. As uh, when you're trying to assemble everything, the springs do tend to not go where you want them to go. So I've made this so that it will slide up and down with these guides, guide slots. Um, in order to actually fit it, it can be a bit tricky. But the springs on the inside need to go into those holes there. Okay, so I've got the two back ones in. Can you see that there? And then it's trying to guide the two front ones in. One of those are in. And like I was saying earlier about making sure you remove all the, um, the edges and making sure everything's nice and smooth so nothing catches. So everything just runs up and down nicely. So keeping hold of it, we would then fit the lid. This would be super glued on. Just clip in like that. It's not a tight fit, but once it's glued on, that's all that matters. I'll turn around to the front. You can see the card slot. cards here why will that not go through it's been a while I forgot you actually have to press this bed down to be able to feed there we go so as you can see, the car will just slide out through there. When you're going to load the cards, once you just feed them in through the back and push them down to load the next card in. Next up is fitting the wheel onto the wheel adapter. For those that remember tapes and tape recorders, this was a find. I've been looking for wheels that were just the right size. The centerpiece needs to be pushed out. This allows the wheel to then be a nice snug fit over the wheel adapter. There are several different sizes of these wheels. The wheel adapter was printed face down, as you can see from the smooth finish, without support. This ensures a clean surface for when you want to fit the motor itself. With all the prints I've done, I found that the actual motor snapped into place.
to help support the wheel and the motor, I included an aluminium rod. Once fitted, this actually helps the wheel to stay flat against the cards. Lastly, push the aluminium pin through into the wheel adapter guide hole, as can be seen here. And that is your trade card dispenser assembled. Next is to test it out. For testing, I'm using this 6 volt battery pack. My actual setup uses a voltage regulator to achieve this, dropping down from 12 volts. You will also need a trigger and a timer. I made mine using a remote control, voltage regulator and a relay timer. The potentiometer though had to be changed to a different value. And hopefully everything should work like this. Hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions, just drop comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.